What's up, everyone? So there are different levels to using AI so that you rank your content higher up on the, uh, I guess, internet webs and being able to rank for Google. And so what you can do is really level up your game. And we're going to go over some basic strategies to more advanced strategies. And in order to do this, uh, to go through it all, we'll need three things, which is ChatGPT. We'll need Zimmerman Write, which I believe at the moment is about $9 a month. It might be even down to $5 for like basic, but I think you'll need the 9 to $11 one. Um, I went and bought the Lifetime. I don't know if they're going to up the price. Um, I have no... Uh, I'm not a partner with them or anything. It's just I use it and I... I think it's really cool, but we'll save that for later. As far as what else we'll need is ScaleNet or any kind of SEO tool to show us what our ranking would be based on certain metrics. So let's go over like kind of like the rank one of ranking for something. And I'm just taking this keyword is true bill safe from uh, a kind of a campaign I'm gonna be doing, uh, if I can bring it up. So I decided to try and rank for uh, is Truebill safe? Uh, has 15,000 of volume. Um, you can pick whatever keyword you're trying to rank for. Don't uh, try and rank for the same keywords I'm ranking for, that wouldn't make sense. Um, and so if you were, going to now take it from that first level, you would be here and you would say, I need an outline for a blog. This is a keyword. And so they would give you a, a small uh, explanation of the outline of your blog. And then you would say, write me a blog. And that's like kind of the level one basic. Uh, we'll never rank. Um, this is just, I like to play with AI. And um, that's about it. I mean, you're not getting much out of this. You might just ask it a few more questions and then be, okay, I'm done. The next level, you would take uh, your blog and be like, uh, create me a 800 word blog, but give me an outline for the keyword the next step up would be to actually go and take your research uh, keyword that you're trying to rank for and take it in to uh, Google and then go to these questions right here. People also ask and keep clicking down and it'll expand how many questions there are so that you get the maximum. And then I just take these, copy, make sure I just get the uh, questions themselves. And then I go to ChatGPT. And I say, create a blog. I want to create a blog, but need an outline to answer these questions. These are the questions. Give me an outline. And then this is ChatGPT. And I can now take this and use this and say, you know, write me out section. Write me out section one. And then I can submit this. And then I can take this into... Um, a AI content, uh, I guess, AI generator um, and see if it's spun so it looks legit or not. Um, or you can take it to the next level. So I just want to show this as an example. Um, let's take this, uh, this part right here, put it in the AI detector and it says already it's 99% fake. So uh, just be mindful of that I mean, take the extra steps and uh, I'll show you a, a better way. So this is the next level stuff. All right. So I'm using uh, scale net and I'm going to be getting a kind of an outline for what we should rank for. And then I'm going to, instead of using ChatGPT, I'm gonna use ZimWriter. And ZimWriter is going to allow me to write, take my outline and spin it into a top ranking piece of content. 
And so we'll go over how that works right now. So as we wait for this to finish uh, loading, it's gonna package the data. And once this comes up, we'll, we'll go inside. All right, so we are inside. We have is true bill safe is our primary keyword. And now we're gonna take our outline from ChatGPT and feed it into uh, Zim. So let's do that now. So just to bring this up, uh, and I'll probably try and bring them up side by side here, but I'm gonna use these as headlines, uh, just kind of like I did here. Um, but I'm gonna feed it into this other program and then we're gonna show you how to rank with scale nut. All right, so we have our uh, outline here and we have SEO blog writer. And uh, this is the title that I, uh, I did this earlier and uh, for whatever reason my sound wasn't working, but uh, this is the outline that I had. Um, it's similar to this one, this is truly really good. Is it true bill good? Um, they had 2021, I believe. Uh, I just changed it to 20, uh, 2023. Uh, FDCIC insured, FDIC insured. So I used similar um, outline here. So I think I have a few more. So as far as what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking this and the manual keywords from ScaleNet. So let me walk you through the steps. All right, so there's a few things we're gonna tick on here. We're actually gonna try and make this a longer article. Obviously, the more, uh, the longer it is, so if I click on uh, long, it's gonna be more expensive. Uh, if it's short, it's short. Uh, if it's medium, it's medium, obviously. So we're gonna go with, for me, uh, I'm gonna spend a little bit. I believe, I wanna say a long article is gonna cost me about 34 cents. Uh, a medium article like 15 and a short article maybe four to seven. I'm gonna go ahead and check uh, enabled list facts and tease and the tease is just them uh, teasing into the next paragraph. So it kind of introduces the next uh, paragraph to, as in to lead into it so that uh, it keeps with the rhythm of the reader. And then next we have the audience personality and I like to be Explore, that's what I've just been doing. Um, I think that for me, it is a good one. There's all sorts of other ones, the magician, outlaw, creator, so that might be good for influencers, I have no idea. Uh, test, see what works for you. This is working for me, so I'm not gonna change anything. Um, until it stops working, then you know I'll do another test. Um, I have, I think that's about, I would also boost chance of detection as real. I'm gonna go back over to safe uh, scale net. And I'm, it says this is our keyword, like we said, and now we have all these key terms that we want. So it says use at least 60 from the keyword sheets. We're gonna go ahead and just view all of these, view all, and we're gonna go ahead and copy, and then we're gonna go ahead and paste them into, uh, into scale, uh, Zim Writer. And we're gonna look for any other keywords that we might want to, so I know that uh, we do need to rank for some SEO. Um, let's see here. These are some titles we might want to add in there, just in case they don't include them. Um, that all looks good. There's nothing else to, we can probably just add that. It's probably a, a keyword we want to rank for. And then all we're going to do is go ahead and click on Start SEO. And uh, this is going to take maybe 10 minutes. Um, if you look at the bottom right corner of my screen, it's going to show you that it's very um, zero and slow. So let's go over the next section. So I took the content from ChatGPT, just the basic outline, put it into scale nut and it gave me a 17 which is really bad um when i took my pay uh prompt my from zimmerman this is what it gave me so just from copy pasting it in, from uh zimmerman output into the seo score i get a 56 which is 
uh, pretty good and that's not with any titles changes or anything so we do have to change the titles and the headlines so as you can see here uh, to make this whole article it cost me 31 cents and I can turn this to a uh, few one and then I'll just go to each of these so as you can see there's two hashtags so I'm gonna turn that to a hashtag two I'm just gonna go all the way down until I finish this and we're gonna see what we end up with all right so we have all of our um, headlines or h1s h2s and then we need to generate some metadata so we're going to go ahead and generate a title a meta title a description and a url so it says uh pros and cons i think this uh i think generate some different ones i don't think that really goes over what this is t talking about Um, I think that is, is it still safe to use. I think that's pretty solid. And if we generate this one, find out what you need for about Truebill. Like it. And this is, is Truebill safe? We're gonna actually change this keyword to is true bill there. and so we're going to end with a 61 from 18 to what was it 17 to 61 that's not bad and there are a lot of things we can easily fix right away so looking on the right hand side, I went ahead and opened all of the uh, drop downs. And so the two major things here, we want to just focus on the major things right now is bold 90, 79 words and uh, add some images. We're going to add images later because it's not needed now because we're using it on WordPress. And so we're going to go ahead and go through here, finding a good number of things to highlight. Um, so I think this is a good one and anything usually that is a, um, a bullet point or anything like that is usually good. I don't actually see any bullet points in this one. I usually wonder if I ran it without on accident because I do not even see a list. So, um, could have been my bad. And looking back at the footage, I did not, uh, I did check them. So I am good to go. Um, so we are still just going to try and do this section. Um, I'm not going to walk you through everything because this is just like really step by step, but how to add these words in your uh, outline. So and you're just kind of trying to see how you can get them in there. Um, Primary keyword should be present in the beta title um, and then add PP ask and we'll go over that now. And then what I do is I look at the minor details that I have and these are some of the words that I'm missing. Um, right now I'm at 65 and I want to be above 80. So I have about 15 more points I need to get. I can still get a major one here by adding images, which should boost my score pretty, pretty quickly. Um, we have the words des uh, density. I can probably add in that a little bit. Um, I do need to add in maybe one more of these words. Other than that, that's all good. And I'm still trying to figure out how to add a PPA. I mean, I have it here. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but um, you yeah, know, it is what it is. And then from there, I just need to add some links. So I'm sure I can go and add some like customer support, add a link here, grab this. So like uh, HTTP help .com. and that's going to increase the score. Um, so 
I can just keep adding different links here to make sure that I build this out. And already it's just increasing and I don't have some major things. Um, but what I would do is also take all of these and uh, copy them and paste them into a chat GPT um, and say, write me a section for this blog and do it that way. And to take our first example of our um, spun out when it was 99%, I think, uh, fake, when we do it in the same thing, it shows that we are 1.67% fake. So pretty good. All right, so we got it up to 8484. I don't know why that took me so long to count that out, but uh, I really needed to get to 80. So we're killing it with all of the words. We'll probably add more images, um, add some more links, and um, a good little tip to fill in the PAA is I did. Um, where is it? Right here, people will ask, and I put a H2 headline, and then a H3 headline with a question. And any question that was in these batch of words up here, um, that for words that I needed, I just started creating words uh, and sentences with them. So like, does True Bill lower bills with AT and T, iOS, Casco, and DirecTV? They all had these keywords in them, so I decided to add them into words, and that helped me fill out PAA. Um, like I said, I'm just gonna put this into uh, WordPress. I'm going to add images and links. Um, like the BBB right here. And then I will be um, posting it. And that is how you use AI to rank really high on the Google machine.